Ted Bundy had a type. Pretty young girls with their hair parted in the middle. 21-year-old Linda Ann Healy, a college senior, has a drink at a local campus bar with her friends. And Ted has his eye on her. Okay, guys, that's it for me. You're bailing on us? Gotta get up at 5.30, remember? Oh, okay, call you after class. Okay, bye, guys. Okay, bye. She is scheduled to announce snow ski reports at a local radio station the following morning. But that will never happen. Linda Ann Healy was last seen in her room in a house at the University of Washington where there were five women that lived at this house. At approximately 10 p.m., she gets ready for bed. Linda Ann Healy was not alone. There were people sleeping in the next room. She was really as safe as she could possibly be. Quietly, Ted Bundy enters the home. Bundy removes the blood-stained nightgown from Linda Healy and hangs it up. He then takes time to redress her. He wraps her in a sheet, puts the bloody pillowcase over her head, and neatly remakes the bed. He took her body out while people slept in the next room. Hours later, when she doesn't show up to the radio station, they call, and that's the first time anybody notices that she's been missing. No, this isn't Linda. This is Kelly, her roommate. No, I don't know where she is. But then when the police came, they discovered blood on the pillow, blood on the top sheet, blood on a nightgown in the closet. So they had quite a bit of evidence that something had happened there. No body is ever recovered. Dental records will identify Linda from a jawbone found months later. Just her jawbone, nothing else. <laughs>